Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode on my survival world and this time I have two pretty big things to talk about as well as some little stuff but um, the first thing I want to talk about is about Race for Wool and um, I have a few things to mention about that but first, first cocoa bean harvest. Oh yeah. So let's come down here and make the first cookie but um race for wool hidden redemption what am i talking about hidden redemption is my race for wool series i have not talked about it in quite a while um another um whoops did not mean to do that but i have not made a map in that series in a while no trailers no nothing and that's because since it came out i've been in a little bit of a depressed state and that has been eight months but I think I'm over the edge finally um, I reached the highest point so to speak and I'm falling down or lowest point and falling up or lowest point and climbing up <laughs> wow that analogy went places but um, yeah I I'm in a college and recently I changed my majors from architecture to philosophy and I feel like architecture was one of the things bringing me down since it was not going as I was expecting it to go. And I'm, I was struggling a lot because it was a fine arts. Ooh, and I just ate my first cookie. It was a fine arts instead of a liberal arts. And I've been trained in my life to do well in liberal arts. That is essays, reading the text and writing and those sorts of things analysis of ideas and thoughts and fine arts things like photography and sculptures that I've had ex zero experience in but they're expecting professional levels out of me in architecture and that was huge stress and I'm glad I'm over it but let's get some potions going um, fortunately I got it already lots of awkward potions so we don't have to worry about making all those again. But say so yeah, I'm over that little stress and looking forward to it all. But in that, I recently completed Slippery Slope version 1.2. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it before, but yes, slowness potions and regen potions. But I've made a huge upgrade to that map. It's not like little bug fixes, but I actually redid the entire first wool area. I redid the spawn part. I uh, redid all the chests pretty much. Added enchanted stuff. Um, I added something pretty special to it. So what is this? Regen 2? Normal regen. Okay, let's put the slowness away. Wait a second. Oh, here it is. Let's put Regen 2 away. Okay, this is the extended Regen. So, extended, extended, extended. But I updated it, and now there's a whole heap of new additions to it. My most favorite part is... Um, a big criticism of the map was not enough arrows, so I made a villager spawner where you could trade lapis for arrows. And since there's a lapis mines, I ain't nobody ever actually mined the lapis or focused on it. I brought the focus to the lapis and made it so if you get a bunch of lapis, you could trade them for arrows. And I removed a lot of the arrows elsewhere. Um, and I made trading a little bit on as one of the focuses on the map that was not there before and it, it changes gameplay quite a bit so I'm excited to see how that all turns out but speaking of my Race for Wolves series it got a huge boost recently and by a huge boost I mean it was getting um ooh hello but it was getting maybe 
I have supported downloads as well as uh, direct links to Mediafire, but uh, my supportive downloads have been getting maybe one or two every few days. I filled this up completely. Oh yeah. So and it's beginning many maybe one or two every few days and starting August 29th I've been getting about 20 a day on average and it's been up and down since then some down to 6 some up to 40 but it's been generally very high and I have no clue what the actual cause is um, my biggest my main guess is Ars Malik, the popular and ever so awesome adventure map reviewer has recently been branching out to other genres like CTM and PvP and he recently graded my uh, divided together map um, the version I don't really like but anyways I did get a rating out of it and I'm guessing him posting on the thread released a lot of new people towards my series and Another big shout out I got recently was by Sir Vladimir in his adventure map called Chronotide. You should definitely play that map, by the way. Link will be in the description. But on that map, he gave me a huge shout out in the graveyard area. My favorite parts of custom maps. And I'm guessing that had a huge boost towards my series as well. Maybe later in this later in its release because it's up to 30,000 downloads in one month and that's a lot of people figuring out my name but there's always that route and I'm so kind of curious as to how people are finding it but I have a few guesses and I'm not really sure which is totally correct that there's any one of them no drops at all dang it I did get oh no drops there either Oh, he killed. He killed my snowman. Are you kidding me? Well, my first snowman is dead. His remains are going here. I did not realize that would have happened, but it happened. The snowman attacked him, got him angry. <sighs> Rest in peace, snowman. But the third thing about Race for Wool is. I am going to be in Reddit Minecraft Tournament 3, RMCT3, on Team You're Going You're Gonna Die, and for Stripwire Hooks, but I'm going to be on that team, team name You're Gonna Die, we're in the very bottom of the bracket, and I'm looking forward to seeing how well we do as a team, and how far we get, and okay, you can just punch these off, that's good to know. These are too far of a distance though. Hmm, where can I build the first strip wire? I'm gonna tear it down anyways, so. But I'm looking forward to participating in that. I've been watching it on the sidelines for quite a while and now I get to finally participate in it and I'm excited for that. So wish us luck, um, I'll be uploading our team's perspectives of the matches um, online, oh, on my channel. But first tripwire. Cool. Wait, what? How do I get extra hooks? How do I get? How do I have four hooks now? Oh, I could harvest this again. That's fast. But do we get four hooks from? Did I stumble across some bug or something? Do we get two hooks from Run Recipe? That's what I'm curious about now. But. I'm putting this, these, okay, sorry, I'm distracted and my turtle's going crazy. Oh yes, you do get two hooks per recipe, that's good, good to know. I did not know that at all. So anyways, 
I have a few addendums, as I called them, but they were addendums for the last episode of the series. I did a few more first um, regarding villagers and other things. But, so I'm going to show you those, and you already saw one, in, one of them, maybe, but if you're observant, <laughs> I always like observant people but and then the second one the second addendum regarding enchantments but and then I did a little bit of caving I've been focusing on caving and lighting up areas and my mob spawner has increased efficiency quite a bit and I did dress it up it's not finished but as you can see it's a lot better than the stone thing so far but I have some caving addendums, some interesting adventures in the caves, and lastly, something else I forget. But a few more little addendums, and then I'll go on to the second part of this whole series, uh, whole episode. First addendum, I forgot to show you this. These are my other two boot enchants. This is obviously the best one, Protection 3, Feather Falling 4. And this is my other one, projectile protection, feather falling four, and fire protection. I thought it was pretty cool. I got three different sub enchants, with, and I still got feather falling in all of them. But then the number two. Hello, villager. I have lots of goods today. Make sure to get those. Okay. And then... First emeralds. So let's tally up the emeralds. Quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks. Just a little bit under. I'm um, pretty sure some paper despawned. Um, I'll definitely need to work on a better system than what I currently have. Fortunately, there is no zombie apocalypse. Or whatever they're called. Sieges, I think. Sieges? I don't know. But, anyways. First emerald block. As well as my first emerald and my first trade so first emerald block and no I don't want that let me go find this guy it's not you is it no you just want a really good pick yes haha -ha. so you want glowstone oh you want to give me glowstone I will accept it Yes! And that feels like abuse. I almost want to stop right there. Look at this. I could just glowstone out sign fields. All thanks to you, villager. Villager trading? Oh, yeah. Nine, glass, nine stacks of glowstone now. Because I harvested a ton of paper. <laughs> That's awesome. A little bit overpowered, maybe, maybe. Pretty awesome, nonetheless. Thank you, villager. Is that you getting rid of it? Yep, you got rid of it. But I'll be around in this village again sometime soon. Um, I can make a trade like that and get a good axe out of the deal. Gold, I might have just used all of mine up on an apple. Small possibility of that, but <laughs> that ends this addendum. I also have a new hat on me. It has a spawn logo on it. Well, the pixelated logo, of, or the pixelated form of the spawn logo. But anyways, thanks for watching again.
So I uh, threw one stack of eggs and got eight chickens, eight baby ones. Um, I'm probably thinking about just doing my little chicken farm here, but one stack of 16 eggs, got eight baby chickens. I think I got two of those special eggs, egg throws in the same go. Of course it was off camera, so there's no proof, but... I want to record it this part anyways because I have that amount of luck. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so you saw the denims now. You saw that I did a bunch of villager trading and got a lot of emeralds. This is the observance people would have noticed. But I got a lot of emeralds and a lot of glowstone. Um, I want to bring my silk touch pick with me. Um... Now that glowstone, the nine stacks of it, is over at my hall of subscribers. I don't know if you remember that, but for all the new people around, I have a hall of subscribers where I put the people who subscribe to me on a sign, on a wall, all next to each other in order, and that's just a way to show my thanks for subscribing and all that. Nope, no double eating today. But, ooh, oh, but uh, recently, this wall has been growing drastically, and starting with the ultimate miner, Super MC Gamer, MC Gamer, however you want to say his name, recently invited me onto the ultimate miner with Free Without Walls. And I participated in it, and there will be a link to that in the description. But I was in it, and on the first day it was out, I got, what was it, 23 subscribers on the first day. And since then I've been getting quite a fair bit from it, I think. And maybe some other things like Chrono Tide and... The Race for Wolf shout out I somehow got. But I've been getting a lot of subscribers. And recently I have hit 217 subscribers. Yep, 217. Oh yeah. It's been quite a while in the making. But as you can see I have a lot of new signs filled in. With all your names. Again, if you, don't want your, if you do not want your name on the wall. Just feel free to message me. PM me and tell me that you do not want it and then I'll easily take it off. No questions asked and no worries in that site. But um, my wall is here for the people who subscribe to me and I appreciate it and I want to show that thanks. And right around here, I don't know the exact name. Maybe it was MK. But I got 217 subscribers right around this point. So in this corner, I want to dedicate something to that in the way I know how to dedicate it to uh, dedicate my subscribers and you might have seen it already but let's go back to sign fields and I'm going to make a cake for you now I said a while ago to one of my older subscribers that I'm gonna have a huge 200, 217 subscriber special and that is still coming but in that this is only part one. Uh, recognizing it that I did pass it. Part two is going to be a while in the making since I was at 180 and sitting there for... And gaining just a little bit. Not drastically. And all of a sudden, I was up to 217. And... Yeah. I was not expecting it. And... There's a chicken up here. Okay, I got three bottles of milk. Okay, you ready that chicken? But, yeah, so I wasn't expecting it, and all of a sudden I was up there, and I had no no prep preparations for it, so. Here we go. Here's the monument, the altar of the first 25 subscribers I ever got. But, this is where I make my cakes. This is the sacred crafting table. 
if I know how to make a cake, I think it's like this. No. No. Maybe these are switched. Yes. Here we go. The first cake. Nope. Not the first cake. But instead of putting it on a stone brick, I wanted to put it on this emerald. The first emerald I crafted. The first emerald block. And let's go down and put it on there. But, yeah, um, I wasn't expecting it, and it's not close to finished. Um, I had an idea, and I also scratched the idea, because it's too similar to what other people have done for subscriber specials, and I don't want to copy it at all. So I'm going to think of new idea, a new idea. I have a separate idea, and I'm most likely going to do it, because it interests me the most, but we shall see. Oh yeah. What's this? Cake of the first 217 subscribers. For symmetry's sake, a happy face. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all that. And I'm going to get a special, special out sometime soon and we'll see how that goes but all this glowstone I collected all this blood glowstone from the trading I'm gonna use it to the hall of subscribers and I'll only use it for the hall of subscribers I'm gonna have to increase the size because I want to plan and build this up more and fix the flooring because it's kind of meh but that's my next project on this world. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And watch out for a subscriber special because you know it's coming. But thanks for watching. This is Dangan, and I will see you next time.